It's a, it's a family drama that follows a family that moves suddenly from America to England. And uh, following R R Jude Law's character, Rory, who's an entrepreneur who has this business opportunity. And um, he moves his family there, promising this lucrative new life. And they move into this uh, isolated manor house in the country and everything changes uh, and and the uh, the move exposes a lot of uh, sort of unsaid things within the family. There were much different places. I mean, now it's a much more seamless transition, but it was quite a stark contrast between two places, and I felt that that someday, change is going to come up with a better. Um, so I, I did a lot of research, and I tracked it back. I felt like I wanted to make it in the 80s. I, I felt like the difference between the US and England in the 80s was something that I experienced. Um, and I wanted to set that as the backdrop. And within that, 1986 uh, was the perfect time because I wanted a character who embodied uh, embodied some of the uh, uh, like uh, uh, values of the time um, of greed and ambition and 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 wanted to study this guy who's chasing the American dream and wanting to create this great deal and and um, and really explore that as a part of what's the core of the family's issue throughout the film. I think what's really special about this film is that it's about um, it, it's about a family that sticks together. It's not about a family tragedy. You know, so often these films are about divorce or a funeral. And this is just a, you know, a family up and moves. And it exposes some of the fissures in their, in their family dynamic and sort of these tacit agreements that we make in a family or in a marriage. But how oftentimes we stay in those things longer than somebody else might think we should. Um, or that families are able to work through really difficult times. And this is a really specific snapshot in time of this family. And I think it's really recognizable. I really can't imagine it uh, premiering at a better place than some I just think it's the right place for it. Yeah, speaking of that, I was reading the synopsis and I was trying to make sense of it. And it's very big. <laughs> As a woman, I, I had the benefit of watching my parents have a really egalitarian marriage even back in the 80s. I feel like that was a really unusual example, actually. And even my grandparents, a generation ahead of them, had a very egalitarian marriage. And I love that in this film, my character, um, she's an entrepreneur who then gets thrust into being a more traditional housewife, and it's not a comfortable fit for her. And I just don't think that's a story I see women living through very often, and I think that's really unique. Thank you.